I will start our next story with a cartoon. It was published by the New York Times in 2014. The cartoon shows two men sitting inside a room. They're reading a newspaper. The headline says, India's Mars Mission. The room is called the Elite Space Club. On the outside, a farmer with a cow can be seen knocking on the door. He's wearing a shirt with India on it. Obviously, it is all sorts of problematic. But what else can you expect from the New York Times? And why am I telling you about this decade-old cartoon today? Because today is a historic day for India, despite all these racist cartoons, despite the low expectations, and despite the failures, India's space ambitions are only growing. Today, the Chandrayaan-3 mission lifted off. It was launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota. Lift off normal. Here we have a majestic lift off of LBM-3 M4 rocket carrying India's prestigious Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft. Chandrayaan-3 is developed by the Indian Space Research Organization or the ISRO. India has spent around $75 million on this mission. It consists of a lander, a propulsion module and a rover. The next stage is detachment. The rocket det detaches in two stages. The first step is done. The satellite has already separated from the launch vehicle. That is done. Now the Chandrayaan-3 will orbit the Earth. This will happen in stages. After that, it will enter the moon's orbit. Here, the lander will separate from the propulsion module, and finally, it will attempt to land on the moon. So there is still some time for that lunar landing to take place, around 40 days. But if the mission succeeds, India will join an elite club. It will be one of only four countries to soft land on the moon. The other three are Russia, China, and the United States. The Chandrayaan-3 has big goals. It wants to soft land on the surface of the moon, and that too near the South Pole. If all goes well, we will be the first ones to land near the South Pole of the moon. So this is absolutely crucial for our space ambitions. You see, the South Pole of the moon is largely unexplored. This is the area of the moon that remains in shadow. It is also larger than the North Pole, so the chances of finding water here are higher. In 2008, Chandrayaan-1 was the first to discover water on the moon. This water was also found near the South Pole, although the, the landing did not happen there. This time, India wants to land there. It wants to explore this new terrain, make a significant new discovery. Of course, the risk is higher, but the hopes are higher still. And this is not the first time that India is attempting it. You may remember Chandrayaan-2, it was launched in the year 2019, but this mission was only a partial success. It had two parts, the orbiter and the rover. The orbiter continues to circle the moon even today, but the rover failed while trying to land near the South Pole. So this is our second attempt at that, and India has set itself some lofty goals. India's space program is only 60 years old. The ISRO was set up in the year 1962. India was still a young nation state then. It had pressing economic and military challenges, but that did not stop it from dreaming big. In 1963, India launched its first rocket into space. We were no match for the other world powers then. The US and then Soviet Union were far ahead of India. But in the last six decades, that story has changed. Remember that cartoon we started with? India is not outside that elite space club anymore. India is a part of it. This is a stunning example of self-sufficiency, or what we call Atmanirbhar Bharat. Plus, it was achieved at a fraction of the cost. In 2014, India reached the Mars. The mission cost around $74 million. Compare that to NASA. The cheapest moon mission costs around $1.2 billion. Even the Hollywood movie Gravity had a bigger budget than India's Mars mission. And this is now a case study in leadership courses, how to beat the odds while remaining cost effective. Not just that, India is also helping other countries. It is making space technology available to the rest of the world. And the moon mission is only the beginning. The next in line is the Gaganyaan, India's manned mission to space. ISRO is also planning an independent space station. Currently, there are only two. The International Space Station, which is a joint project between a lot of countries. And then there is the Tiangong Space Station, which is controlled by China. Now, India wants to build its own, and that too by the year 2030. ISRO is also proposing to send an orbiter to Venus. Perhaps it's time for the New York Times to commission a new cartoon, one that is in sync with today's reality. If they do it, we promise to tell you about it, but don't hold your breath for it.